Dandelia, you have the floor.
Hello. Who class is? Who gives the question? He's that chick or who's it? Um, hello, my name is uh, Marshall, which uh, my Indian name is the uh, friend of the ego. And uh, I come from a house, but uh, we're here supporting the Dandelia Canoe family, which is uh, we call our dad, who is a caretaker and owner of the Chapach, the canoe. And uh, it's an honor to uh, uh, be supporting him and uh, our family. He's married to our, uh, who, I, who I call mother. It's my auntie. It's my, it's my mother's younger sister. And uh, first of all, Kako Kako to the host nation for inviting us. And uh, I just uh, extend a great gratitude to the chefs cooks, all the volunteers. You guys are doing a wonderful job. Security, you know, security out there, the RC, uh, I was gonna say RCMP. I'm, uh, I'm not in Canada, but uh, the, the police department, you know. Klako, klako, and, uh, the, and that was our entry. That's just uh, telling people who we are as a dance group, and uh, uh, we're called the Soul Shakers, you know, and we're with the Dandelia slash Soul Shakers. And uh, just thank uh, our dad here for always uh, taking us in to pull with him. And uh, he's always there for us, our family. Him and uh, my mom who was back there getting ready. And uh, so the next we're gonna do is uh, Chukwan Nas, which is uh, calling uh, the creator to come and watch us dance. So that's what the song is going to be next. Chu.
Hello. Uh, this next one we're going to do is uh, it's just an introducing this song. Uh, this song came to my brother here while he's on the way down this way on his journey here. The uh, Creator has blessed him with this song. And so I'm just thanking the Creator for uh, being with him in uh, just in his spiritual journey. Not just that, but the journey down this way. So he wants to introduce it to you people of Spotson and all the Kuas of the West Coast. So uh, here's uh, my bro here. Yeah. 
the dance he witnessed was uh, helped and made by, uh, was given to my brother actually. And uh, was, he gave it to our mother here to use and show how proud we are to be in new channel. And uh, that's what the dance was about, saying, uh, my name is Klukwana. I come from New Channel. That was the dance he witnessed. True. The next one is up. Uh, the next two songs, actually, we're going to do. The first one is going to be the love song, which you'll find on our new CD. Um, it's coming. I'll be selling it after this. And, uh, and then after that is um, Baby, I Love You. True.
Uh, this next one we're going to do, we want to invite those that know this song. Uh, uh, majority of you probably know it, but uh, we're going to sing Baby I Love You, which it's, a, it's another love song, but we honor uh, the female side of our families, our grandmother, my mother, my auntie, my sister and daughter, and all our babies. So uh, those that want to come up and uh, jam with us, you're welcome.
I am Charles Thomas, and I travel with the Dandelia from Ahazit. And um, earlier this day, I, I went and spoke to a chairsman and an elder, and I gave my apologies. And I, I feel to myself that I shouldn't have been dancing or singing up here with my group. I felt bad. I was drinking last night, and I'm getting sent home. They gave me 24 hours to go home. And um, to, the, to the ones that are here, you know, think about it. I, I, I had the honor to come up here with my group and do this, but I have to go home now. I knew the consequences when it, when it came. And I, I sincerely apologize to the host, to the reserve that I'm on, that, that you guys led us here. You guys, you guys welcomed us, and I thank you for that. And I, I, I do apologize. I do feel so bad about it. Um, I got some for the chairsman here. Uh, yeah, um, we just down here, our, our nephew, Sonny here, for what he's doing, he acknowledged he's uh, doing, but it just lets you know that uh, we're just human beings here. We're not perfect. We come on this journey looking for healing, and uh, that's why I wanted to show him. That's why I wanted him to dance because I support him, and not not in his drinking, but I support him. That I want to, you know, uh, support him uh, spiritually to uh, move a different direction from the alcohol. And uh, that's why I forgave him, but not just us, it was all of us from our canoe family, our ma and our dad here. Everybody, uh, we choose to forgive him and we asked him to dance and just like he said, he didn't want to dance. You know, but uh, uh, it was, uh, I thank you for uh, staying with us, sticking with us. We stuck it out. And I just asked to stay strong in God, you know, and... Uh, and so all we need is encouragement from uh, our people that know about the spiritual healing. And uh, for me, I'm just, uh, I just quit drinking and doing marijuana in March. And uh, it's been uh, a tough, won't be, I, won't say I won't say tough, it's challenging. But it's an honor to be up here because I love doing this. God gave us our culture to share, and I'm really thankful for that. You know, and uh, thankful for the songs, the dances, the family we have, you know, the friends that God blesses with, especially when we meet them here on journeys. You know, I just want to say, I uh, love you guys. And um, as we carry on, our uh, next, uh, our next song is going to be, we want to invite those that are uh, suffering from any addictions or any, anything that is bothering them bothering their spirit, their mind. We invite you to come in the center and we're going to surround our, with our dancers around us as we pray for you. And I just want to let you know that uh, we're just instruments. God is our healer. No, he's the one who gave us the great spirit. He's the one who gave us the Holy Spirit. And I'm thankful for that. You know, and... Uh, <clears throat> But those that uh, have lost loved ones, anything that is, uh, have pain in their hearts, any healing, we're going to do the blessing and healing song. And this, how this song came about was, uh, I don't know how long ago it came, but we lost our cousin in the tragic car accident. And uh, when we were there in Victoria, we had... Uh, for me, I had to stay strong because I'm the oldest from my mother. So my younger brother was crying, crying, and he was asking, asking Nas, asking God, give me, I want a song, Father, he said. I want you to heal my heart. I want, to heal, I want you to heal my pain. I can't do it. Only you can. He, he acknowledged that. And uh, 
the, he asked for the song, and then there's a song that the creator gave him. So when he, when he started singing it while we're in our house, and our auntie, the one that lost a loved one, who was our cousin, they just got all quiet, and the Holy Spirit just uh, started uh, hugging him, holding him, you know, God just started holding him in, in his arms, you know, and uh, I really believe in that. I believe in Jesus. I believe, you know, you know, uh, God gave us our culture. God gave us who we are. He put us where we ought to be. You know, he came to give. He did not come to take away. You know, uh, and I just want to uh, express that out there. You know, uh, um, where we come from, we have uh, elders and those that uh, suffer through residential schools. You know, but uh, those people that did that misinterpret who Jesus really was and who God really is about his true love. And I just wanted to express that out there, that uh, God gave us that. I mean, you know, and I'm really thankful for that, you know. And uh, so, uh, like I said again, come up here. Come up in the center. We'll surround you and dance, pray for you. And I would encourage those that do pray. Help us in prayer. Ask God to uh, heal them, heal their hearts, heal their spirits. Heal their minds, and also to bless them, not just them, but each and one of us on journeys. Bless our families, bless our feet, where our feet walk. True.
Hey, um, my name is Arnold Cooper. I'm vice chairman of the Scotch and Island Tribal Council. And it's just amazing. much power there was in the middle of that floor for all of our sick ones. No one that took the floor. I lost three kids because of alcohol and drugs. But the alcohol and drugs is not an answer. There was so much power on that floor, I just hope that you take that and take that as part of your healing. Because alcohol and drugs is just such an illness. And it's something that today I hope with your family, your new family here, it will help and support you and going in the right direction and get you feeling better and get you well. And on behalf of myself, as the vice chairman of the council, I would I would welcome you to stay with the rest of your family throughout the rest of the uh, journey. <laughs> There's a saying I learned, you know, God is good all the time, all the time God is good. And like I was saying, you know, God gave us our culture. He, he created us who we ought to be as human beings. You know, and I was saying earlier, I uh, got sidetracked. I'm real bad for being sidetracked, but you know, uh, you know, uh, there was things that was taken away from us a long time ago. And that was our songs, our regalia. They took our language. The one thing they couldn't take was our spirit. And our people stayed strong in that, kept praying to the Creator, kept praying to the Creator, and I'm really thankful for that. And just like I was saying, He came to give, not take away. And I want to really express that. And I was told by an elderly man, 
who was a very good friend to our family. And uh, I'll let you know, he was a white elderly man. He said to me, what I'm saying is, you know, God came to give, not take away. He came to add richness in our life. And that richness is Jesus. And we all, we all know about him before the Bible came because uh, my, grand, my grandfather, who was my mom's uncle, passed away. He told me about her was communion. There was baptisms even before the Bible came, before the Catholics came. You know, uh, God taught us that before they all came orally. You know, uh, we're a nation that we're taught orally. And uh, I'm really thankful for that. And, uh, and, and just to go on with that, you know, uh, Jesus gave us the Holy Spirit. And then our ancestors, who used to call him the Great Spirit. And then that's what I've been learning about. And uh, I'm really thankful for that. I'm just uh, thankful for the support I have from family to uh, stay on this uh, narrow road, you know, um, just live the best that I can before I go on my journey back home. You know, like I was told, you know, this is not our real home. Our home's up there with our creator, true. And uh, just to lift everybody's spirits up now, we're going to do a fun dance for you to uh, now on every invite all of you guys that want to dance or sing with us come and jam out with us this is our uh, last dance true before we go on to the next one i'd also like to really thank you for what you said to my brother because it is all a healing journey for a lot of us like you, I, I lost two sisters and a brother. I actually lost a sister. Uh, I buried her two days before the journey started. And I really thank my family, the Dandelia. Like they say, we get a medicine in a lot of ways, and culturally that's one of our biggest gifts that we have. Because I had a lot of anger inside me because of how she went. We used to question and be all angry. But I thank my family from the Dandelia for always having that canoe open. Because they, I've been paddling with them since Lower Elwa. And they're that much medicine to me. The medicine that I need because I have four girls. And it's medicine to all of us. And I really encourage everybody to listen to our elders on what they, what they say to us. Because these teachings are something that keep us strong keeps us together as one. So I'm very thankful that who we are as native people, how we are so rich with all these blessings and gifts that we have, but it's up to us to really keep it going and pass it on. So I'm very thankful that I had my four girls on the canoe with me, paddling, learning, hearing everything that's being said. So I'm very thankful for what you said also, that it is medicine to all of us, and also to Jeremiah for really keeping updated with me and helping the best way he can. You guys have such a blessing, and I'm thankful for the people here for letting us take part on what's happening, this healing journey that we all have. So once again, I really thank you for the words you say. For anybody that does get up to speak, it means so much to me because it's medicine to all of us. And once again, I really put my hands up to all that are here in support of what's, what this is all about. Once again, click go, click go. Everybody come take part. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> I am an elder for the Neutranos people. I, we don't speak very often as elders on the floors. I would like you to think about those 96 canoes that landed on the shores of the hosting nation. I like to look at the positive results of what this canoe journey has done. When those canoes landed on your shores, all those young people that arrived with those canoes and 
spent weeks on the waters to arrive here in sobriety, integrity, and all the things that honor our people. I would like you to think about this. Our young people today that landed on their shores paid tribute to our ancestors. They paid tribute to our ancestors and arrived here in sobriety. When I arrived here, I came through a gate down here. It had no drugs or alcohol free event. We can be proud today that our children are now have turned around and, and are staying sober. But I told my grandson yesterday that one of the greatest strengths that we have is forgiveness among our people, is forgiveness. And I'd like you to think about that. True. Okay. Shall we do the dance now, or anybody want to talk? No. Okay. We're going to do a fun dance for you guys to help lift your spirits. I uh, invite those that want to come and sing and dance. Come on up. You are welcome. Choo.
like again, Tako, Tako again to the host for uh, inviting us here. It was an honor to be here. It's uh, been really good, really good. Tell our families at home how you treated us, and it's really awesome. So, uh, just raise our hands up to you, Tako, Tako. And also, uh, we just have another presentation, I believe. And uh, where is he? Bobby. Bobby? Do you want to, do you want to speak? everybody, my name is Sip Kwanis, and I come from DT Dot First Nation. I've been pulling with the Dandelia Canoe family, and I'm very grateful for this. Um, I'd like to call up Sammy and Roberta. I'm going to dance for you. <laughs> I have to, I have a gift for you guys, um, for you and your canoe family, for taking me along. Um, I own a paddle song, and which I would like to share with you. This is my gift to you guys for taking me along this year. Um, a few of the guys, we've been practicing it, and they're going to sing it while I dance for you. our boy Bobby and he's single.
words can express how thankful we are to have all these guys along with us. And thank you enough, Bobby, for all that you have done for my canoe family. Each year, Dandelia Canoe Family invites anybody from each territory that they were allowed to come paddle in our canoe. You need any healing, you need any help. He never refuses anybody. Paddling. Paddling, paddling. paddling. It's mine. <laughs> He's married. <laughs> but all in seriousness, thank you. <laughs> but we had people from Nitnat, Dididot, sorry. We had people from TFN, Playoquit, Sishad First Nation, Muwichit Machlit. Uh, how is it? And we had an elder from Macaw that pulled with us from Port Gamble, Jamestown. One of the stops. He come with us and then he got out just before we got here. And we just like to say thank you also to Tony. He come, Tony from Macaw as our elder, Tony Johnson, thank you very much. And we also had with us in the Chuppet. Thank you to everybody. First of all, we just like to say thank you to the host. I have a son here that does a lot of artwork. <laughs> Doesn't want to be recognized or something. <laughs> We have a son here that does a lot of artwork and does very beautiful work and we want to present this to the tribal chairman. And elder. I can't remember your name. <laughs> Just want to say thank you for your words and thank you for giving our youth uh, encouragement. And do one of you guys want to dance for my hat? What's the lady's name? That lady, the female. What's your name? Dance. Charlene. She wants to ask her her name. She said dance. <laughs> she said dance. It paddled all the way from a hose. Clico, Clico, Squaxin, we had a wonderful time. We thank the cooks, we thank all the people that made this possible. We thank all the ones that have helped. We also have one of our um, escort vehicles here. His name is Eddie and Annie, his wife Annie. Where are you? Could you stand up? These two made it possible for some of our young group that didn't have any money. A lot of us came with no money. And uh, these two made it possible. They, 
donated a paddle for the ones that need spending money on our crew. This beautiful paddle here is for raffle. So if you see any of our youth, our canoe pullers, they're gonna be selling tickets for the remainder of the week. And we also have this hat, which was designed by my son also. That is a raffle. They're a dollar each for the hat, or three for, four for two dollars. And the paddle is two dollars each, or four for five dollars. Oh, arm length for 10, sorry. And we also have a wolf. It's about, I don't know if a lot of you guys seen it. It's a metal fabricated wolf carved by my other son that's in school in Vancouver who donated it to us for uh, our fundraiser. We leave with, we leave with very little money, but we ask the creator to help us on the way, and he does, he has provided for us. We left the reserve on July 9th. We left with five adult pullers and two of our young pullers and an escort boat, and myself as a land crew. So that's what we left with. And then along the way, this is what we have become. And we have... And this is what we have become. Thank you, Tribal Journeys. Klikko, Klikko. This drum is also for raffle. And then one of our neighboring tribes are gonna do their dance. The ones that were paddling with us also is Knit Nat. So Klikko, Klikko from the Dandelia crew. Dandelia originally comes from Ihadasit, where my husband is from, that's further up north than Ahauzet, but we paddle from Ahauzet. But next year, we're gonna paddle from right from home, right? We're gonna paddle right from Ihadasit. We got one more dance.
I'll make it sweet and fast. First of all, I'd really like to thank my sister Peggy for being here, for standing with us. Like I said, uh, I think there was like about 12 of us that hopped on and was uh, accepted by uh, Sam and Roberta to be part of them. So we got to paddle with uh, Sam and Roberta and all the pullers. So I really thank them. I really thank my sister Peggy for being here to dance with us. We're really rich with a lot of culture and dances, but uh, like I said, with the loss of my sister, we uh, had to put our songs and dances away. But I'm real thankful. It comes from one of our hot weeks, uh, Paul Tate. And I'm real thankful for that. And she means so much to all of us. Satifa, that's his name. But just like uh, my sister Roberta said, we, we come from Didida. And we're always thankful, like she said, that she always has that canoe open. And we're always glad to be with them. Because I know me and Jen have been paddling with them for quite a while, like all of us. Like they say, they picked up Teresa there. I'm not too sure if she's going to go back. <laughs> but I really thank you on behalf of Diddy Dad here for having the doors open, the tents, the food. It means so much to all of us. So I'm real thankful again, once again. Click go, click go. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> we thank Dan Dahlia. Let's give him a round of applause. Very powerful messages. <laughs> this Tribal Journeys is really, really a cultural uprising. Our children today will grow up without hearing, or they, they can't in life, imagine life without tribal journeys. They're not gonna, and life without a cell phone. I mean, they're not gonna be able to manage, you can blow them away and say, I was born before the internet. Uh, times are changing so fast though, but um, I just wanna take the moment and thank Dandelia and also Moet.